Hello, welcome to Four Minutes Closer to God. Uh, today we'll discuss another element of what every Christian should know. Uh, this time, when was Jesus really born? So we do celebrate Christmas on December 25th, but that comes to us not from the Bible, but from Christian history and from uh, pagan worship that was going on to the unconquered sun, Sol Invictus. And so instead of spelling sun, S-U-N, which is what they were worshiping at the time on December 25th, as we moved from the shortest day uh, of the calendar year and the days started getting longer, the sun was returning to the night sky. That made it possible for them to celebrate a new year coming, and so uh, Sol Invictus was uh, the pagan celebration on December 25th. Um, Christians as early as 3336 AD uh, attributed that date to Jesus' birth in order to kind of Christianize the celebration that was going on at the time. And so they said their unconquered son, S-O-N, was the true one to be worshipped and celebrated. And so it gave them a way in to uh, evangelize the pagans of the time and get in on uh, the, the celebration that was going on at the, that mark in uh, the calendar year. But when was Jesus really born? So if you look at Luke 1, 5 and 8, you'll see that uh, Jesus came um, as kind of a time frame set by the course of Abijah that was being celebrated by Zechariah. And so Jesus is the son of Mary, who was the cousin of Elizabeth, Zechariah's wife. And so he was doing his priestly duty mid, early to mid-June and was told then that his barren wife would have a child. And so he returned to her and assuming uh, she became pregnant or they conceived uh, soon after, then nine months later, somewhere early to mid-March, John the Baptist, Jesus' cousin, would have been born. And then Jesus was born nine months later, so early to mid-September. So according to putting those scriptures together, we get the idea that it was not December 25th, but around the festival or the feast days of trumpets and tabernacles. And so that's important to us because uh, the feast of trumpets is the Jewish New Year. And if we are to look at Revelation 12, 1 through 5, we'll see the Apostle John, uh, the revelator, uh, ex looking up into the sky to explain that he saw a wonder there and a virgin who would uh, have the sun on her uh, head or across the midsection actually and the moon on her feet and this astronomical observation comes on September 11th 3 BC so that's when we can see Jesus was born 